Epsilon RFITT catheter, there are only a few marks. And so at this point, we need to add an extra mark. Can we just mark on the catheter itself at what point we're starting the pullback? We hold the introducer exactly in the same place because that's what we're marking it against. And then we use the a normal bit of disposable ruler just to pull back exactly the right amount each time. Now we've set the catheter to 6 watts because if we have it at 6 watts and we pull it back at 6 seconds per half centimetre that will give us 32 joules per half centimetre which will be 72 joules per centimetre which is perfect for an LED closure. We want to be somewhere to be between 60 and 90 joules per centimetre for permanent closure. So we're going to start treatment now. And how's that feeling? All right. If there's any pain, of course, we'd stop. That's six seconds. So we come back five millimeters. And we wait. And we come back six seconds at five millimeters again. And the countdown is actually on the RFITT generator. So we can see every six seconds. And then we pull swiftly back for half a centimeter. And that way we can be assured that we're always going to get ablation of the vein. Now when this technique first was started, people used to pull it back much quicker. They used to use 18 watts or 20 watts, and they used to pull it back at one second per centimetre. But a simple calculation will show that that's incorrect, because you'll only be getting 18 to 20 joules per centimetre, depending which of the two techniques you use. And anyone who knows the physics of closing veins knows that that LED will cause thrombosis, so the short-term results look good, but when that thrombus then resolves, the vein will be open again, and not surprisingly, the long-term results are very poor. And that's what we've seen in the European study that was performed, a multi-center study, where they used those higher watts quicker. So at this point here, we can see we've pulled back one centimeter, two, three, four, five, six centimeters uh, in one minute, 19 sen seconds. And if we look straight away at the vein, we will see that it's all completely closed. In fact, it's quite difficult to see.